What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming, whether it's PC, PS5, or handheld, we got you covered. Well, today is the day we are going to be upgrading our internal storage from 512 gigabytes to one terabyte to ultimately have a two terabyte Steam Deck, one terabyte from the SSD, and another terabyte from an SD card. And we are gonna show you the entire process from start to finish and everything you'll need to get the job done. If you guys enjoy today's video, please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future content like this. Lots of great content on this channel for the Steam Deck. We also cover PC and PS5 as well. You definitely don't wanna miss out on any of it. So all you'll need to do this is the SSD itself and you're gonna need an electronics repair kit like this one here that I purchased on Amazon for around 12 bucks. And what you'll really need out of this kit are the pry tools and the small screwdriver. And before opening the Steam Deck, you're gonna wanna make sure to remove any SD card that may be inserted or else you will break your SD card. There are eight screws on the back. The outer screws are longer than the inner screws. So you're gonna wanna make sure to separate them so that you can put them back where they belong. And then once we have all eight screws out, we'll use a plastic pry tool, not a metal one, but a plastic one to pry the case open. Take your time with it, go slowly, and it will come apart pretty easily. Once we have the back part off, there is a shield that is covering the SSD held down by three screws. And one is covered by this aluminum foil tape here at the top. And we're just gonna take out those three screws and remove the plate. And you wanna make sure not to completely remove that aluminum foil tape because we're gonna use it to cover the screw again once we're done. So do not remove it completely, just peel it back a little bit. All right, so we have the screws removed and now we can remove the plate. And there is the SSD right there. But before we unscrew the screw that's holding it down, what we're gonna wanna do is unplug the battery. And you'll wanna do this very gently. Don't use any kind of tool, just use your fingertips. It'll slide out, just be really patient with it and it will come right out. There it is. All right, so now the battery's unplugged and then we're gonna press the power button two to three times just to discharge any electricity that may still be stored. We don't wanna hot swap the SSD with electricity stored in it. So now we have the power completely drained and now we will proceed with unscrewing the screw for the SSD. And you'll also want to keep this screw a little bit separate from the others because it is a different screw than the others that we just took out. As long as you're able to distinguish it from the others, you should be okay. All right, so now we can remove the SSD. And as you can see, the SSD is inserted into this uh, metallic shield. And we're just gonna remove it from that metallic shield. And then we'll take our replacement SSD and we want to put it into that metallic shield the exact same way that the other SSD was inserted. Like so. And then we'll go ahead and insert that back into the SSD slot. And we'll screw it back in.
double check it, make sure it's nice and snug and it is. So the next thing we can do now is plug the battery back in. And now we'll go ahead and put the cover back over it. Okay, and we'll snap the back part of the Steam Deck cover back on and put the screws back in. I chose to go with the internal screws, the inner screws first and then the outer screws and you'll hear it snapping back into place. All right, so now that we got the SSD installed, we can go ahead and re-image the Steam Deck with the SteamOS recovery software that you can find on the Steam Deck website. So, so far we can see everything is working just fine. And for those of you who want to set up a dual boot from here, you can do this. Once you have steam OS installed, you can go ahead and set up your dual boot with windows. And we have tutorials on the channel to show up how to set up a dual boot, how to partition the SSD and everything, including setting up controller support within windows for non steam games, etc. So you'll definitely want to look down in the description for those videos. If you want to continue beyond this point and set up a dual boot. If you just wanted to have Steam OS on here, then once this part here is completed, you're done. All right, so we'll go ahead and skip through all of the orientation steps and then we'll take a look at our storage. All right, and here we can see we have one terabyte. It's not gonna show one terabyte. It's gonna say like 900 and something gigabytes, but basically, yeah, that's one terabyte of storage on the Steam Deck. We are ready to go. And um, yeah, we're gonna get a one terabyte SD card so that we can eventually have two terabytes. As of right now, I have 1.5 terabytes. I have a 512 gigabyte SD card and that's okay for me for right now, but eventually I will want to have two terabytes on here. All right, guys. So there it is how to upgrade your SSD. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing. So you don't miss out on future content like this. We'll see you guys in the next one. We're out of here. Peace.